Hello, welcome. In this short video, let us look at an example illustrating how to calculate the probabilities of different intervals given the cumulative distribution function that is the CDF. So, consider a simple CDF as f of, a, f of x is equal to 0 for values of x less than 0 equal to 0 0.2 into x for values of x between 0 and 5 1 for values of x greater than 5. Given this cumulative distribution function, we want to find the probability set of different types of intervals. For example, consider the probability of x less than 2.8. Clearly, the value 2.8 lies in the second interval that is not pi. So, the value of probability of x less than 8 should be equal to f of 2.8, which is in this interval. So, this should be equal to 2.8 into 0 0.2 is equal to 0 0.56. Now we want to find probability of x greater than 1.5. For any probability that is greater than a value it should be equal to 1 minus probability of that value, uh, probability of x less than that value, x less than 1.5. That is probability of x greater than 1.5 should be equal to 1 minus probability of x less than 1. Uh, basically, this formula comes from the uh, probability of the complement set or complement event. That is consider that is consider an event A where uh, event is x less than 1.5 then the pro then complement is x greater than 1.5 so the probability of this complement should be equal to 1 minus the original probability that is probability of the event A so we have 1 minus f of 1.5 and the value of 1.5 lies in the second end 1 minus 0 0.2 into 1.5 which is 0 0.3 and 1 minus 0 0.3 is 0 0.7 probability of x less than minus 2 since the value 1 minus 2 is in the first interval 0, the cumulative distribution function is 0 at this point. So, it should be, the probability should be equal to 0. And finally, probability of x greater than 6. And by using the formula that probability of x greater than a is equal to 1 minus probability of x less than a, it is the same as this formula, similar to this formula, which is equal to 1 minus probability of x less than 6. Clearly, the value 6 lies in the third interval though. So, the CDF at this value should be equal to 1. So, we have 1 minus 1 which is equal to 0. The, um, the probability of x greater than 6 is equal to 0. This is clearly justified because uh, when you differentiate this uh, CDF, you get the PDF and the value of PDF for the interval x greater than 5 is obviously 0. So, the probability that the value of x is greater than 6 is given by 0. Since the PDF is 0. Uh, for values of x greater than 5. Thanks for watching.